Hey everybody. <laughs> hey guys, it's um, April 11th, 2022, otherwise known as Scott's parents' anniversary. 54 years. Woo, let's cheers to 54 years. Kerrigan and I are having blizzards. We made a last um, minute decision to get fries. So we're just waiting on the fries. Mm hmm. What are you doing here, Kerrigan? Why are you home from school? Shopping. <laughs> no, that's not why you're home. That's what we did, but that's not why you're home. <laughs> why are you home? home for a visit? Mm, I don't know. And where's Bryn? Vancouver. <sighs> when are your exams? 20th, 23rd, 24th. I think. I don't know. Here actually. come the fries. Here oh. come the fries. Ah. Look alive. Look ah. alive. Ah. Thank you. I couldn't react oh, fast enough to put my mask on, but he had a mask on. Um, so Kerrigan's home. Mm -hmm. She came home yesterday and she's here till Thursday because she's going to go through her room mm -hmm. and go through her stuff mm -hmm. so that she can decide what to bring when we move. <laughs> Where are we moving to, Kerrigan? I couldn't... <laughs> Dude, you know... Do you know where we're moving to? Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. Should I go? Should I just say it? Mm -hmm. Vancouver. We're moving to Vancouver. Cheers to Vancouver. <laughs> so that's where Bryn and Kerrigan go to school. Mm -hmm. UBC, baby. <laughs> Bryn's at Simon Fraser. So she's there because she has some exams to do. And then she's going to come home next week. Um, Kerrigan's going to go back. It's her 19th birthday. Cheers to your 19th birthday. Hey. Hell yeah. Um, so they're going to have a big hoopla. What are you doing for your birthday? Cactus Club. And? And a club club. <laughs> <laughs> club club. Kerrigan will be legal drinking age in um, maybe around 4.30, 4 45. Okay. Someone's coming to buy furniture from us tonight. What was I saying? I don't know. Oh, your birthday. Mm. So they're going to go have a big hoopla in Vancouver. Mm-hmm. Because Kerrigan's legal drinking age... Um, in Vancouver mm -hmm. when she's 19. Mm -hmm. Calgary, it's 18. Yes. Um, but I don't think that really stops you in Vancouver. <laughs> Has it? No? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're moved to Vancouver. Scott got a job at the Fairmont Hotel Vancouver. Hotel Van, mm -hmm. if, you're, if you're cool. Yeah. Um, it's the hotel that's smack dab in the middle of the city. It's like sort of castle-y with the green roof. They actually used, is it true that they use that hotel shot? I think so. They used the hotel shot, um, as far as we know, for a Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, the Disney show where they lived in the hotel and they used to use the that scene, like that picture of the hotel. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna live in the hotel for a little bit until we find a place and who's that Mariel um <laughs> uh, so we're gonna we're gonna move at the end of this month as I mentioned today's the 11th we don't oh got God. much yeah we don't have much time so we probably shouldn't be sitting here <laughs> eating blizzards I got stuff to do um so Kerrigan's home for a few days and Jeff's studying to do and stuff a little bit. I'm not studying, but oh. I have work. Work to do. Yeah. And then she has finals. And so she'll go back to Vancouver this Thursday. Next week, Bryn's coming. I think she's coming on the 19th. Yeah. And then she's here. Her exams will all be done. So she'll be able to help, like, organize and whatever. Um, help me do some stuff. On the 26th, Bryn and I... Well, Bryn will be going back, so I'm flying back with her. When we get there, we're getting a rental car. We're going to um, her school, unload her dorm, get her stuff into storage, and then we're going to head to the airport hotel. The next morning on the 27th, 
I'm gonna drop her off with, there's like 20 people. They're all going to uh, Tofino. I don't know where that is. It's on Vancouver Island, is it? That's what I thought. Is it on Vancouver Island? Is it? Yeah, it's on Vancouver Island. Yeah, but so that's where she, oh yeah, she does take the ferry. Yeah, it's like quite a while from um, where the ferry lands. Okay. So Bryn's going there, it's like a school trip. She's gonna apparently learn how to surf. I don't think she's gonna do it because there's been a lot of no. I think there's a lot in the news lately that there's a lot of killer whales in that area. Mm -hmm. Bryn is terrified of killer whales. They don't go that far though. Uh, I doubt she would go out like. Well, if she's in a are. black scuba suit thing and looks like a seal, I don't. Th I don't think the whale's gonna go. Mm, well, she's like ten feet away. I can't possibly. <laughs> so oh, I guess whales do like go on the shore. Yeah, that's why yeah. she's terrified. <laughs> anyway. So the next morning, I'm dropping her with a group of people. Did you eat that already? No, I'm so okay, full. Okay. Oh, you still have, you have fries too. I know. <sighs> then, once I drop her off, then I'm heading to Kerrigan and I'm getting her and McKinley moved out of their dorm. Get them moved into storage. And then the three of us are gonna head to the airport hotel. The next day we fly home. Kerrigan and I'll come back here McKinley's going to Tennessee where she lives. So we're back in Calgary on the 28th. The 29th is Friday. I don't think anything's happening that day. The next day is the 30th, the Saturday. Then Scott leaves here. He flies because he finishes up work on the 29th and he starts at the new hotel on Monday, May 2nd. So he's going to fly to Vancouver on the 30th. Rin will be back from her little getaway thing on the 30th. So the two of them are gonna move into the hotel and you and I are in charge of the move at that point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've all agreed God that we're us. probably not yeah. the best two to be left in charge of things, but. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna sit there. Uh, me too. <laughs> we'll be playing on our iPads and stuff. <laughs> oh, I'll bring my Switch. Yeah, bring your Switch. What did the Easter Bunny bring you? Lego Star Wars! <laughs> Easter Bunny, oh, and Kerrigan got some presents last mm -hmm. night for her birthday, because we celebrated her birthday, because she's not going to be here. Mm -hmm. First time you haven't been home for your birthday. Yeah. I'm sad. Aw. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And then the Easter Bunny mm -hmm. came to visit because even though she's 19, she was still wondering if the Easter Bunny was going to come. And mm -hmm. the Easter Bunny came. Mm -hmm. The Easter Bunny can't abandon me now. No. <laughs> and then Bryn was a little stressed out wondering, was the Easter Bunny going to come back for her when she comes next the week? The Easter Bunny doesn't know. Um, we don't know. I'm pretty sure he'll, he'll find her and bring her some stuff and hide eggs. So then Kerrigan and I will be here. We're hoping that the movers will start packing on the second. It's usually two day pack, one day load. So they'll pack the second, the third, they'll load the truck on the fourth. And then hopefully her and I will be flying to Vancouver on the fifth. And then- Can we just leave the fourth? I think it's gonna be too much. Oh, I guess that would be a long day. It's a long day. In my head it's like 45 minutes. I'm <laughs> just like putting boxes in the truck. Have you not paid attention to any of our other no. moves? It takes no, most of the day. The... No, because they usually finish around like four o'clock. Oh my god. Yeah, it takes all day. Ah, okay. We have a lot of crap. <laughs> so here's the, the other situation. I shouldn't be idling. Oh, you were idling? Yeah, sorry. Mommy. I'm I know. Oh my god. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's Alberta. <laughs> we love oil and gas. <laughs> I am a conservative. <laughs> we're not. No. No, we're we're being very sarcastic. Um, a lot of bumper stickers in Alberta though that say I heart mm -hmm. oil and gas. Anywho, um <clears throat> so we're gonna be moving into an apartment. Oh yeah. <laughs> in Vancouver. <laughs> and you've seen the amount of stuff we have. <laughs> Say that out loud is so funny because <laughs> nothing's gonna <laughs> It's gonna fit. My craft rooms wouldn't even fit in this apartment. We don't know. We're 
we're looking for apartments. Why are you gonna um, bring a craft? I'm not gonna have a craft room. <laughs> Daddy said no. <laughs> Funny. I didn't think about that. Yeah. I figure if we could get a balcony, he can sleep out there. <laughs> and I'll just use the bedroom as a craft room. So, this is melting so fast. That's why we're being, mm. an, I'm being annoying. It came and to us melted. I'm eating and talking, sorry. Um, so yeah, we're going to get an apartment right in downtown because commuting, we've had friends that have lived there and it's like 90 minutes one way to get to the city. It's ridiculous. So, um, yeah, we're going to try to find something within walking distance of the hotel. And yeah, so we're going to do that. It's hard to find a three bedroom that's a, somewhat affordable. Vancouver is the most expensive city in Canada. So that's, that's helpful. <laughs> um, so we're going to get a two bedroom apartment and we just have to pick our favorite child. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna play rock, paper, scissors. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping my favorite wins. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's funny because it'll probably be Brim. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's my favorite. <laughs> you can't have a favorite child. It's not mm -hmm. possible. Anyway. I would. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're going to get a two bedroom apartment, um, for Scott and I, the girls, um, Kerrigan's hoping to get res, but they don't guarantee it for second year students. And where are you on these lists of residents? Who cares? Way the hell know. down. Yeah. Hundreds and hundreds of spaces down her and McKinley. Yeah. So we don't think they're going to get residents. Um, so your first, Karen's first choice is to get residents um, and share with McKinley again. Mm -hmm. Her second choice would be to go in with other friends in a big old house and still share a room <laughs> with <laughs> McKinley. And then um, third choice would be getting an apartment with Bryn. And then, oh my God, I still have work alarms going off on my watch. Um, so we would be an apartment and they would be an apartment because it's easier to find a two bedroom apartment than a three bedroom apartment. Um, Bryn's first choice is to do an apartment with Kerrigan. Her second choice is to live with us. Third choice is res. The reason she doesn't want res, she's just finishing up her fourth year. She's doing a victory lap. She's doing one more year. Um, she still has courses that she needs. Her roommates, I think they just finished their fifth year too, didn't they? I think so. Yeah. But they're, yeah, they're graduating. So they're graduating. They've just done five years as well. They're graduating and they're done. They're leaving. So Bryn's losing her roommates and she's really not um, liking the idea of finding some strangers to live with. And anyone else she knows at school either lives with their parents or has a place of their own. So she might end up living with Scott and I. So... We don't really know what's happening at this point. <laughs> All we know is we're moving in a few weeks. <laughs> and we got a lot to do because we have to downsize. So we're selling um, our fur like as much furniture as we can. We're keeping our bedroom sets. But the leather set that we have in the family room upstairs, that's going. There's a guy coming tonight. Um, he's... Oh, for the leather? Yeah. Where are we going to... Where are we going to sit down? On the floor. Really? <laughs> you can bring up the lawn chairs if I don't sell those. <laughs> There's not going to be anywhere to sit. Okay. <laughs> so that's going. The brown set that we've always had. We got it 22 years ago. I was pregnant with Brynn. It won't die. Oh my God. <laughs> we bought a nice quality coat and it won't die. So I'm just sick of looking at it. So we're going to like get rid of that so that we don't have to store it. Um, and we think it's going to be too big. The, the arms of the of it are really big and stuff. So I think it's going to be too big for an apartment. So we're going to try and sell that. I haven't listed that yet. So we're going to try and sell that one. The gray coaches in the basement that we had in Seattle, they're they're a little rough. They're yeah, wearing but they're out. they're so comfy. But they're comfy. So we're going to hang on to those. And we'll either use them in an apartment or the girls, if they get an apartment, they'll take them. 
and then maybe with some of the money that we've spent or that we're making on selling stuff, um, Scott and I might get a coach set and we'll just put these other ones away for the girls. Our kitchen table, the black kitchen table with the wicker chairs, we're gonna put that aside for you guys. Um, and you guys are gonna get the TV that's in the living room. Nice. So we need to do long-term storage because there is stuff that ain't gonna fit, but we don't wanna get rid of. Um, like my dollhouse I had when I was little, I restored it this past fall. I never did post those videos. I need to post those videos. You made videos? Yeah, I made videos. I remember that. Yeah, cool. of the process. Cool. That's interesting. I have a fry. Yeah. I haven't had Dairy yeah, Queen fries in, like, just for me. in a long time. Um, so yeah, so we still have to do some long-term storage. The thing is, when do we find out about your res? May 1st. The day before the movers come. <laughs> that's so helpful. <laughs> so if that's the case, we need stuff possibly for the girls' apartment, stuff packed for our apartment, and stuff packed for long-term storage. <laughs> How much you want to bet things are going to get screwed up? Um, it's, it's probably not even worth it to sort it here. No, they have to. They have to? Mm. Because when they take it, they put it in these vaults. Oh, it's like it's yeah, it's like long term like, storage. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. okay. And the stuff is actually coming to Vancouver with us, because the mover said if you're coming back to Calgary, we'll just leave it here. But I don't, I don't think we'd come back to Calgary. Mm. Um, mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's Calgary's Calgary's been good, but if we compare it to everywhere else, yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not for me. It's alright. Like, I, I can see 200 miles that way. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Every It's very flat. It's very flat. But it's nice. And it's sunny here. It's gonna be it's so... It's sunny in Vancouver. For, like, four months. <laughs> it's nice now. That's all we Cherry need to Cherry blossoms are out. Mm -hmm. Grass is green. It's like Seattle. Gray. Yeah. It'll be fine. So yeah. Um, I finished up work last week. Quitter. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the company I worked for was awesome, but they're only here in Calgary. So it's not like I can transfer and work there in Vancouver, unfortunately. I had three little boys that I worked with. Adorable. The one that I worked with in the morning. Ever since October, I would say bye-bye when I'd leave and say his name. And he would just toddle off and just ignore me. And he was kind of not happy with me because I was taking the toys that I brought to play with. Um, and I would have to take them when I'd, le when I'd leave. So the moment I would say, someday, someday he'll wave. He'll do it someday. So Thursday was my last day with him. And I said bye-bye and I said his name and he waved. And the mom and the grandmother and I lost it. Oh my God, we were bawling. It was, oh my God. It was amazing. Sad, but cool at the same time. And my other two kiddos, I finished up with them on Thursday. Friday, I had to take all my stuff back to the office, my ID and everything. And I dropped off all the toys. Excuse me, because we used to have a lending library at the office and you could go and take out toys and borrow them to work with the kids. But I never did that because it's, it's, I don't know, like half an hour, 35, 40 minutes away. And instead of doing that, I just bought toys at Value Village and Facebook Marketplace and stuff. So I had all this stuff that I worked with. And I said to Scott, I said, but what if I do the same kind of job in Vancouver? He's like, we're not going to have space to store any of, this, uh, any of that stuff anyway. So I donated it all to the company and they can use it for the kiddos. Um... I guess that's it. That's kind of our life right now. Yeah. In shambles. <laughs> we're trying to figure out what we're doing. We've got our post-it note wall going. Whenever we move, we do a post-it note wall. So that's how I knew Scott got the job. He called and he's like, can you go pick up some post-it notes and Sharpie markers? I'm like, all right, here we go. So yeah, I'm excited. You excited? I'm very excited. Mm-hmm. 
Love Vancouver. You're near your, near your mama? No. Be with your mama again. Mm -hmm. Will you visit? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all can visit me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why do I feel McKinley's going to be over at our place all oh, the yeah. time? <laughs> Macy's already said she's coming all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they'll be there more than us. <laughs> we can have them for, like, Thanksgiving dinner and stuff. Oh, yeah, it'll be fun. All right. Well, we should probably go home and start uh, doing stuff. So oh, my God. I started tearing the basement apart this morning. Uh, and sorting through Christmas stuff to figure out what we're going to bring. We just bought a beautiful new Christmas tree this past Christmas and it's a nine footer. It's not going to fit anywhere. <laughs> I like how we all knew it was a bad idea too. I know. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was dumb. That was dumb. But um, yeah, so that's, that's our news. Surprise. So yeah, um, we will check in. We will bring you with us. We will do some field trips. Mm-hmm. We will do some walking around mm -hmm. Vancouver, show hike. you stuff. We're going to, yeah. <laughs> Bryn and Kerrigan somehow seem to think we're going to hike now. If Bryn says we're going hiking, I'm going to be like, okay. At least once. <laughs> you know? You're you're not going to, you'll hike about as much as daddy would hike. You're not hiking. <laughs> <laughs> Trails will be closed by the time you wake up. <laughs> Can't hike in the dark. Mm. Yeah. I need to learn self defense. What is this water? You need to learn self defense. <laughs> Why? Is this from the airport? Like a bear? I don't know. <laughs> no, you know, there's like bad guys on hikes. So why are we hiking? Although it's probably going to be less scary than on the streets of Hastings. Yeah. yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Hastings <laughs> is a little sketchy. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Say happy birthday to Kerrigan. Happy birthday, Kerrigan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I will be back with some videos. Probably not in the next week or so because I got too much to do. Um, but, yeah, we're going to Vancouver. So we'll bring you with us. I hope everyone is safe, happy, and healthy. And I'll be back with some more videos soon. All right. Take care, guys. <laughs> See ya.